Hello everyone and thank you again for joining me in this new episode of Star Trek The Original Series. So, uh, today is a very kind of unique day. I am in a completely different setting, which means I won't be having my dogs with me for this only occasion, but they will be back, I promise. So today's turn is for season one, episode 25, The Devil in the Dark. This, I think it got three boats, if I'm not mistaken. And I have no idea what this episode is about. As you know, I try to avoid every spoiler I can get my way. And so I will discover it today. Today's snack is coffee and peanuts. Let's get this done. Hmm. Looks like a matte painting. Whatever the thing is, it's already killed 50 people. Your phaser in your hand at all times. What good will that do? You saw what happened to Ed Appel when he took a shot at the thing. How about all those other people before the monster got him? Somebody can be here in three minutes. That can happen in three minutes. Chief. He's the optimistic one, isn't it? Schmitter. Or whatever's left of him. Burn to a crisp. Wow. That's why we're here, Mr. Bassford. It's all pretty tough, aren't you? Starship, phaser bank. I like the camera movements in this episode. It's completely different. And it's gone. It's pretty much like Alien, isn't it? Like his liquids are all acid and corrosive. I love it. He said quickly, and he took his time. What if life exists based on another element, like evolution with selenium? I love how the rock is like perfect sphered, and the, the the holes that the creature left are actually perfectly circular. Oh, it hurt it. It looked like a hamburger with ketchup and mustard. You all right, Captain? Yes, perfectly. Did you see it, sir? Yes, we saw it. Where does the tunnel go? Oh, by the way, the other guy was with you? Did. We knew it was a killer. Now it's wounded. Probably in pain. An angry. If it can be hurt, it can be killed. This is fine. If it bleeds, we can kill it. I lost such order. You did not, sir. I merely thought that if the opportunity arose, I will lose no more men. The creature will be killed on sight, Matt. Besides, how can you contain the creature Chaos. if it can Mr. just Spock. corrode everything? Mr. Spark, you are second in command. This will be a dangerous hunt. Either one of us, by himself, is expended. Both Not good people. an excuse. Yes. There are approximately... Well, I hate to use the word, but logically, with those kind of arms, <laughs> you might as well stay. Captain, we are being watched. That's a scary Intuition. phrase. Explain. Only a theory. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh man. Definitely not quick. But it looks pretty scary though. I don't know exactly where the creature is. Where, Captain? Ten feet away from me. Kill it, Captain. Quickly. Seems to be waiting. Well, of course, he's waiting for you to lower the gun. The facer. Oh, they are carrying clubs. All over the place. Thousands of them. Yes, I see. A lot of eggs or droppings. I don't know what is it. What is going on? No kill I. Oh, don't kill me. What is that? He has no reason to give us the device. And apparently every reason for wishing us off this of planet. Of course. Yes, I'm aware of that. Oh my goodness, that's disgusting. 
So is the devil in the dark humans? I'm a doctor, not a breath license. You're a healer. Will the X destroyed because of the mining? Could be. Miners must have broken into the hatchery. What I was saying, the mining broke them out. They're coming. Things gonna go insane. You know. First man that fires is dead. Kill them. Move through air and it leaves tunnels. No, yeah, it could be a nice uh, symbiosis between the two of them. Well, I had the ship beam down 100 pounds of that thermal concrete. You know the kind we use to build emergency shelters on us. <laughs> he became a mason. I suspect you're becoming more and more human all the time. Captain, I see no reason to stand here and get insulted. Okay, well, this is um, this is another kind of feel-good episode. I at first I really thought it was gonna be like um, you know, like a horror kind of episode because it started like in that genre, but. No, it's about understanding other creatures. So, yeah, it, it, the plot kind of gave itself away with many of the things. At some point, I've kind of imagined that the devil in the dark refers also to humans because they just, you know, tried to shoot to kill, even though it was just Phaser 1. But they were definitely attacking the creature. Of course, it was a one on one battle. The Horda had the upper hand, obviously, it can go really quickly, it goes through new tunnels. I would definitely worry about the engineering of tunneling so much within this planet and probably things will collapse. We saw part of it collapsing um, with Kirk there, so I don't know, that, that would be probably the only thing that I will worry about, considering that it was only one Horda and it was doing a lot of tunneling. Now there are thousands of eggs around that are going to make little tunnels, bigger tunnels, and have gigantic tunnels as they grow old. Uh, so that will be my primary concern. No, I think it's kind of uh, one of those things that we needed to see that Vulcans can do, like this communication of minds. Uh, it's it's some fantastic, it's very fantastic to see him working with an alien that his base form is silicone instead of uh, carbon, but he can still I don't know, is it reading its mind or just being able to communicate uh, by using their minds together? I think the Horda's mind was also quite strong because at some point Spock was quite absorbed into it and it was kind of difficult for him to snap back out from it, but it worked in the end. So yeah, it's about this, this subject about going into a planet or going into an environment and being you know, the predator, uh, and that there was a peaceful species there living. It's every time now I've seen many more movies, you know, using the subject. It can be in the horror genre like The Others. I see this as a very important subject, and it's also an important subject in law, in environmental law. And this is why many countries have this specific laws about not bringing in like foreign uh, species, either plants or animals, and you cannot take them away from here uh, because of how important the ecological balance uh, is in an ecosystem. So here we can tell that it, it was basically the same problem, like, uh, you know, invading uh, and, you know, mining a place and taking all the, the nutrients and essential things for another species. That um, it, I, I kind of find it contradictory considering that with a simple tricorder they can really tell if there are any kind of life forms, they can adjust the tricorder to find other uh, element based life forms in, in their planets. And they didn't do a study before setting up a, a mining colony there. I know it's 50 years old, but still I think making a study, a very thorough study of life search and, and things like that before setting up a colony would have been, you know, the first thing to, to ask for. If we did that in the 20th century and we do that in the 21st century, they will definitely do it in this time, even though it was 50 years prior to them. I can tell the guy that was dressed in pink or purple kind of uh, onesie, 
he didn't have the best attitude. I mean, at first you could tell that the morale from the men in the mines is totally underground, pun intended. They seem to be quite pessimistic. And uh, the guy that shot at it is probably the most pessimistic of them all because he actually shot at it. No, he shot it. Sorry, sorry, this guy's probably going to shoot me if he hears me. Uh, But yeah, he shot it and it didn't calm down. So of course they are all kind of like pessimistic because with the weapons that they have, they're not going to solve the problem. It took a nice chunk of it to come off to kind of wound it down and being able to establish communication. I would have loved to see the baby <laughs> the baby hoarders. Uh, I know that would have taken a lot of budgeting to create with those things. I would really like to know how they managed to do the hoarder. It looks like a rug. It looks like a texturized rug and people in, inside of it or under the rug. But I think it's kind of in a wheeled uh, platform moving. I don't know, but it looked quite cool. It, uh, the movement looked organic, which is why I assume there are people under this rug. I have to admit, I don't know why, but this episode felt a lot faster. I don't know, sometimes I'm looking at the clock and it's like, oh, there's still like 40 minutes left and all that. This one went really quickly. I, I'm kind of sure that I didn't react too much at, to it because even though there's not a lot of action, there's a lot of mystery going and we're still trying to figure out what this creature is. So it's I, I, I find it quite interesting, even though it wasn't horror at the end, it's more like a feel good episode. Uh, but yeah, I kind of enjoyed it, to be honest. I feel there are so many modern sci-fi episodes and uh, and modern horror, and I really appreciate it. And you know, guys, I love it when I can find really uh, references to this. So next episode will be Errand of Mercy that only got two votes. So this episode will be available on my Patreon. If you want to go become a patron, you can follow the link in the box below. Uh, this episode only has two votes. So if you're just joining into my channel, you will realize that in one of my videos, I made a voting for all the episodes that will be selected for the first season. I will very soon open another voting for season number two, and you will vote for the 15 episodes that you will like to see here on YouTube and all the others will go straight to my Patreon. After that we will also review the alternative factor that only had one vote and from there we will move on with the rest of the episodes. So that was it for today. Thank you again for joining me in this new episode of Star Trek the Original Series. Take care, God bless and bye bye.